Hi y'all, it's me. Well, I promised myself that as a reward for having my yard sale and for getting rid of a lot of stuff that I would use my YouTube earnings for a few things that I've been wanting and putting on hold. A couple I got a while ago, I just hadn't showed them yet. So um, I'm going to show you them today. And then I got some really great stuff in the mail, so I can't wait to share that in a second. Okay, so one of the first things I got was the Heidi Swap mat. I really love this, and I was able to get it with a, a half off, so it was like 10 bucks. Really nice mat. I love the color. It's so pretty. So then another thing I got mail order was this die from La La Land Crafts, and as you can see, it's a little banner, and it's so cute because when you cut it out, it comes with the stitches on it, and um, I love that. So I've been wanting it for a while. I finally broke down and said, that's it, I'm getting it. Um, with Carlene, um, she came over to the yard sale, Pink Scrapper 99 here on YouTube, and we did a swap on a couple of items, and what I got from her was this Stampin' Up! tab punch that I wanted a lot. So I picked that up from her, and I also got this, and I know it's old, but it's Webster's... Um, Christmas collection or something and I just I wanted it and she had it so I got it so that was that then today oh I got some great mail I love this mail and it's from my Sophie Rose which is Amy who is Tutu Amy here on YouTube and she sent me a little goodie bag in my package with one of those pretty little ballerinas and some cute little flowers, millinery flowers, so cute, look, <laughs> and this pretty doily, and another little flower right here, so cute, and then that's her store, if you don't know Amy's shop, my Sophie Rose, I suggest you go check her out, well, let me put it this way, when she gets in the papers that she gets, which are the tilde, and then the first edition and some others, they go really fast, so you have to be fast or pre-order when she has pre-orders, which was what I did. So I was so happy, and I have to take my time and show this to you because it is the new Tilda paper, and this one's called Tiny Treasures. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. I haven't even looked through it yet. I wanted to do it with y'all. So you get three sheets, I believe, of everything. This one's Tiny Treasures. Look at how cute. The little bunny has wings and the teacups are so pretty and it has the gold um, coloring it's not really glitter it's just the coloring so you get three of those oh look at these these are all the little tags that you can cut apart you get three of those and that's the back of that one look at that Isn't that pretty oh sorry you're off camera <laughs> there you go look at that and it's got this striped pattern and then I'm assuming on the back it has, oh that's pretty, little rosettes. And here's the next one. I'm sorry I keep looking because I'm not sure if I'm on camera. There we go. My camera's behind me so I have to keep checking. Three of those and that's the back which is sewing themed. Cute! Did I get three? Yep. And then there's this one here which has the pretty roses right there in the corner and then that rosette trim. Oh, look at the back of this one. It has teacups going across the bottom. Cute! Sorry, I'm not doing so good at sharing. <laughs> oh, this is the one that has the sewing. The other one had the teacups, but no, no wonder. Oh, look, cake, cupcake wrappers. Isn't that cute? <laughs> you need scissors. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> So these are cupcake wrappers, and then on the back you have that pretty blue paper, which I love. I'm glad they didn't make it a punch out, because then you have the option um, to use it. There's this one here, really cute. On the back of this one is a striped. Oh, I love this one. Look at how pretty that is. Okay, and then the back of that one. Oh, it's one of those. They have one of these in each of their collections. It's kind of a little scattering of all the different... Um, papers in the collection. So that one is called Tiny Treasures. And then the other one I got is called Happiness is Homemade. Yay! <laughs> it looks so cute already. I like the cover. I want to use the cover for something too. Okay, so let's have a look. 
And I'm thinking you're getting three of these. Yep, you are. Oh my gosh, look at all the tildes. There's so many. <laughs> and the flowers, the button cards, the twine cards. Cute. Okay, and then, oh my gosh, look at this. I hope you're getting everything in here. These are all button cards. And then wings, some more cut aparts. And then I think you could put these as bag toppers. They're probably what they're for. Bag topper and put your button cards in a clear bag and then use that to close it off. Cute. You get three of those. And the back is just a little polka dot. Oh, look at this one. This is like the one in the other collection, only a different color. Pretty. Love, love, love. Oh my gosh, look at all the tildes you get. <laughs> Tilda heaven. Look at that. <laughs> get a whole bunch of them. It's funny, you know, because I'm not a big doll person. And I, I like Tilda okay, but I, I, mean, I love the paper. But, um, but she's cute. She's a cutie. Okay, so this one has sewing theme. And then on the back, what is this? Woven paper heart basket. Oh, so you, how cute. So look, you put them together. You need scissors. And you fold them and you cut them where it shows and then you weave them together. I hope I'm showing that to get the little baskets. Cute. Okay, back to the paper. Look at how cute that is. Oops, sorry. Matilda. The back of this paper is a honey, no, circle pattern. Oh, and it has the little flying reindeer on the top. Cute. And this one has the sewing cards down the side. And then a back is just this pattern here, wheat, wheat with green. This one has buttons down the side. And on the back, oh, there's that beautiful paper. Now this one's in the green coloring. I love that one. Here's that circle pattern again. And look, it has a kitty. Laura has a kitty. Yay! <laughs> There you go. And then the back of that one, that's the compilation one where they put a little bit of all their papers on one sheet again. So you can have this there. So that's from Amy's shop. Thank you so much, Amy, and thank you for the extra goodies. Whew, I'm tired. Okay, so that was that. Now let me continue with the rest of what I got. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby. And I was at the Christmas section and I saw these cute little ornaments and I thought they'd be cute to use for dangles for a December daily if I ever get to it. Um, these were half off. These are little mini craft sacks and they come with all those patterns there. Really cute. And then I got these in the Christmas section. They're, I guess they're to put on a little phony tree. You know, they look like lights, but all their stuff was half off. So um, I have an idea for that. I want to do something with that. Um, the trim was half off, so I got uh, one of these only. And then finally at Hobby Lobby, I picked up this die by Spellbinders. It's a bicycle, and I had a 40% off coupon, so it was about 5 bucks or something. So that's what it looks like cut out. Super cute. Cute, cute, cute. And then I went to Joann's for one thing, and I ended up with one thing. <laughs> it did good. I've been wanting this punch and they finally got it in. So I went ahead and um, picked that up with a coupon, 50% off, which is always good. And last but not least, I went to the Craft Warehouse, which is my favorite store here in Boise, Nampa area. And I picked up some couple of things there that I'll share with you. I picked up the Prima Something Blue um, 6x6 pad. I've been wanting this, so I thought I'd take advantage and um, pick it up while I was there because I haven't seen it um, anywhere else yet. Um, and I also picked up, this was all on sale, clearance or sale price. Um, this is Teresa Collins Daily Stories. And I know it's not newer, but um, I love this collection. And like I said, it was all on sale. So I went ahead and picked that up and then things to go with it, which were the chipboard pieces that were also on sale and you get a whole bunch in this in this pack of chipboard pieces, really cute. And then I picked up the sequins that go with it, which are right here. And I love the colors of those as well. Got those. And then I picked up the single sheets of paper because they were 50% uh, off as well, or not 50%, they were 50 cents. 
So I picked up this one, which is a My Mind's Eye Jubilee. It's a new collection, but um, I only picked up two sheets from it because it matched the collection of Teresa Collins. So I got that one, which it has arrows on the back. And then I got this one, which is bicycles, really cute and it's solid on the back. So I picked up those two, and then to go with the collection that I did buy, I picked up the tags that you cut apart, and the butterflies, because I figured I could cut those and use those as well. The back is a stripe. Um, and then I picked up this one, which is a bunch of circles, and I believe I can use a circle punch and punch those out, so those will be cute. And then my favorite paper in the collection, and I already had bought some of this before because I love this paper, is this one here. Love this pattern, and they were 50 cents, so I picked up quite a few. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I treated myself to. I think I did really well. I stayed within my budget, and I'm really happy, and I love my paper, my Tilda paper. So thanks again, Amy, and thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.